Ivan and Paula came to us from, oh, it's this country that starts with a B. What is it called? Bolivia. No, not Bolivia. Brazil. That's right. That's right. Where's our Brazilian people? The CF and I. And, uh, and this is a little miracle right here. And Paula. Whew, she's awesome. And I, I don't want to steal their thunder. But uh, I want to tell the story. Yeah, she is a beautiful baby. And uh, who wants to speak? Ivan? All right. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Pastor, for the opportunity to praise our God, to talk about His goodness. And, you know, it's interesting because last night we were just praying about 2022 and, you know, trying to remember and remind ourselves what happened in that year just passed by. And we just talked about her, you know. Wonder why, you know. So I would just like to share about her because she's a baby miracle that the Lord gave us this opportunity to be parents and the blessing of her. So just to go back a little bit, to give you guys some background, what happened with us. Back in 2020, when COVID hit, we were here in America, and then we decided to go back to Brazil for our, because we were CFNI students. We went back to Brazil for a summer vacation, and two weeks after we were there, um, the borders closed. So we had to stay in Brazil, and we got stuck there for 14 months until we returned in 2021. So we were there in Brazil, and around August, we felt it was our time to be parents, you know, because we, we've been talking about that for a long time, and we wanted to finish school before, and, you know, our plans, not God's plans. Yeah. So then we decided to, uh, to seek some medical help with that, you know, so we went to a doctor in Brazil, we did all those tests and everything, and she got pregnant, so it was amazing. And a couple of weeks later, we found out that the pregnancy wasn't going bright, and she actually had a miscarriage uh, around November 2020. She, had a, the, she was pregnant for 11 weeks, you know, and it's very traumatic if you go through a miscarriage. So she had to actually have surgery to remove um, the baby because, you know, I don't know how to explain the, the you know, the, what, what happened, but you guys got it. So anyway, so and we, it's funny because when we were in Brazil and she got pregnant, we were just saying, okay, so I guess we're done with America because, you know, we're going to have a baby here in Brazil. I don't, I, don't, I don't see why we should go back now because everything's going to happen here. So she got the miscarriage. And then everything happened. The borders uh, were supposed to be open again in April 2021. So we decided to go back to America in June, in July 2021. But in May 2021, we got COVID and we got really bad. <laughs> and before we come to America in 2020, I'm sorry to this is a little long. I just want to give you guys some, you know, understanding about the miracle. So before we, we decided to go back to America in 2021, we went to the doctor again to do all the tests, and especially the tests regarding uh, pregnancy. And believe it or not, the doctor said, listen, with these results, it's impossible for you guys to have a baby. That won't happen anymore. You guys are already old, you know, so, and, you know, the counts and the numbers, they're bad. So you guys won't be able to be pregnant. And we're like, okay, I don't trust you. I trust in the Lord, but, you know, let it go. So we got here, and... Uh, we got here in July, and on August 15th, which was my birthday, uh, we're pretty sure that that was the day that she was made. So, <laughs> praise God. <laughs> and we prophesied that, so I'm pretty sure that was the day. And she was supposed to be born on May 8th, which would be her birthday, Paula's birthday. But, uh, so she was you know, going through the pregnancy, everything was fine. And then in January, she had her first bleeding which wasn't an alarm, but it was a little scary. Then in February, she had another bleeding, and that was scary because she had to stay in the hospital for a whole week, and the church was with us all the time, praying and helping us. And after that, she had to stay in bed resting for the rest of her pregnancy, which was another eight weeks. And she stayed at home for the entire time. Pastor went home with Pastor Leanne and visited us and helped us in prayer, and a lot of people were helping us with prayer and everything. And we were trusting the Lord, so she was a premature baby. She couldn't go a full term. So she was born with 36 weeks. Do you guys have this light that up that we can put it on? Does it work? No? Okay, sorry. So that's fine. So she was born and she had some breathing issues when she was born. And she went straight to NICU. And she stayed there for almost 10 hours. 
they, they were just observing her and then they decided that something wasn't right with her so they decided to give some antibiotics they put a big mask on her they, she was uh, being uh, they were testing her blood all the time she was a little tiny baby with a big mask on her it was very traumatic um, scene for us you know parents everything was you know new and hard and then the doctor came to us and they said, listen, uh, her situation is we're going to have to keep her head at least here for two weeks and see what's going to happen because her lungs probably are not fully developed and she's having a really hard time to breathe. It's like, okay, I don't trust you, I trust in the Lord. So, so we, we were on the third floor, she was on the second floor, and I remember it was around one in the morning, I went, I went downstairs to talk to God, you know, so I was me and her in the NICU and I was talking to the Lord and and I had that spiritual view the, the spiritual side and I could see the entire room filled with angels and right there I said okay we'll be fine I went upstairs came to Paul and said listen we'll be fine you know let's just trust in the Lord we'll be fine next day we go downstairs to see her she had no mask anymore she had nothing anymore she was perfect <laughs> praise God Praise God. Two days later, we were out of the NIQ, and this is our baby, our happy girl. So praise God. Thank you. So thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. You guys were a huge blessing for us, and we love you guys. I, I remember when we, we had a first steps class. This is our new beginners class. And, uh, you know, we were just teaching on basic things about the, the Bible and whatever. And then the Holy Spirit just moved in that class. We didn't, it wasn't really a service. It was a class. The Holy Spirit began to move. And then, and then there was a word that came forth with that. Can you share about that? Yes. yes so uh, Pastor Leanne actually gave us a word uh, regarding pregnancy. Right? And we testified to her that that word was for her, was for us. Because Paula was pregnant, you know, so it was an amazing. Because when we we went through that process in Brazil, you know, to the miscarriage, we were receiving words as as like you guys are gonna have a baby, everything would be fine, and we're having a miscarriage. So it's kind of weird to understand the situation. But praise God, you know, and thank you, and thank you, Jesus. Can we thank the Lord and thank this couple, beautiful family, Amen. Praise God.